got a list here of um, sample processes, and uh, these are just pulled out of a hat, if you like. Uh, but there are there are a lot of other types of processes possible within procurement. But the examples that I've got: selecting a supplier, uh, obtaining multiple quotations, negotiation, order processing, uh, procurement of supplies, and so on. So let's see if we can come up with a few new ones. Yeah, I see them coming up now. Approvals. Yeah. Uh, that again, it's, it's repetitive. We use the same rules every time when we get good um, inputs. Risk management. Well, risk management is interesting. Uh, uh, risk, most of us think of as being negative. And um, one way of uh, addressing that is to say, well, let's remember what worked well the last time and let's do it again. And a classic example of that is for people flying airplanes. Um, uh, they have a list. I've never done it, but I believe this is what they do. And before they take off, the pilot says, well, you know, have we got enough fuel? And are the doors closed? And do the brakes work? And, and all these sort of things. And of course, in the early days, they had accidents. And um, bit by bit, these lists built up. And nowadays, I believe they're quite big books or, or databases or whatever. So risk management. And then client management is another thing that's being mentioned here. Um, again, how do we deal with them? If we do it on an ad hoc basis, well, we get a result. Uh, but if we, we build a process and we say, well, you know, this is the way we normally do it, and we could have done it better and improved the process, well, then that applies for all our, our interactions. So thanks very much for those um, suggestions. And I did a bit of uh, cutting and pasting, if you like, here. Uh, I came up with three lists. Uh, from different places, uh, just to give a flavor. This is not intended to be total. But look at this this first one on the left, Business Dictionary. Uh, source options, um, organize or agree price and terms. Um, expediting is another place, number seven, where we can use a process. Um, again, we don't want to do it differently every time. Jishun, I have a question here. Okay. Um, so... Yes. You Obviously, there are lots of uh, processes that you could apply uh, business process modeling to, but I have a question about where to start. Uh, which processes would you recommend uh, that people start focusing on, or is there uh, a way to identify priority processes which should be focused on before others? Well, that, that's a very good question, and thanks for that. Um, it, 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 one of the and if, it, if it's something that people haven't previously done or they haven't had this in, in their business uh, approach, then, um, you know, something new always has to fight against everything else. And so the recommendation is go for something that is really a big demand um, or where there's a very big risk. So, for example, if you've got um, process, uh, shall we say, purchasing uh, procurement going on in a particular niche, for example, for a research laboratory, I've heard of situations they say, well, you know, procurement will look after everything, but you research guys, you know it yourselves, you know, you'd probably be better. Now, that sort of know-how is in one person's or, or a small number of people's heads. And so if I were to ask, where would I start? I would ask the question, um, where do we have a particularly big risk? Or where do we have a particularly big dependence? Um, or where would we be really stuck if people moved? And a lot of this thinking is parallel also to the idea of lean in the sense of lean manufacturing and so forth. Um, we ask ourselves, well, are the things happening that, that, that should be happening better? So I would, I would come in from that side. Uh, so um, thanks for the, um, the, the questions there. So I just put in here a couple of links. Um, I didn't cut and paste them into the presentation for copyright reasons, actually. Um, but you can link on them uh, if you go to these slides afterwards. And they look like flowcharts. They're just different versions from different places. But just to remind us that processes are, are an essential part of the way procurement works.